I rolled a one, and that means that calls for another episode of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 gameplay in the career mode. Let's go to the racetrack. Welcome to another edition of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 gameplay. OD Zone 101 here, and it's the EA Sports 500. And as you can tell on the front of my car, I have lost my primary sponsor. But let's go find out with a surprise what will my sponsor be. Let's go to sponsorship. My op I have the same options as last time. EA Games. Uh, MBNA. Goodyear Blip. Um... I think the survey says. Ta -da! Yep. I signed a contract to have EA Games as my package sponsor. And it looks to me I have to finish 15th in the race, have an average start of 15th, and be 15th in the points. Oh man, this sounds like a tall task. Well, I'm going to have to take a look at the uh, stats real quick see where I stand so far I've been running really good I finished better than 15th so far two poles three wins six top fives eight top tens average start 28.6 average finish 17.5 oh man what if it might not happen what if I'm so far I'm 15th in the standings which is a plus I'm working on the average finish, but can I get at least a decent average start? Maybe I should get the pole again. Well, we'll take a break. Okay, we are back. Of course. Yep, the only, uh, I mean, my third chassis to be in repair, so. Chassis number two is the only option I got. And I'm going to choose uh, my oldest engine, which is still pretty good. It's been around for a while. Ooh, now this is a tough choice. I can get it go with my oldest uh, body, or I can go for body number four. And my car rating is 64. Let's go to Talladega. Yep, I qualified 18. If I have a good long run car, but let's see what MRM has to say. Once again, good national anthem. Once I started to show some consistency, I'm making a late charge. But I wish I could have more power to please my sponsors. Man, I got such a great start on the uh, finish line. with the pack. Oh, man. Oh, they're checking up. That's for checking up.
Oh, looks like I, I have no choice but to work with Rusty Wallace. <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that person still wants me to put Rusty Wallace in the wall, but... Oh, I am, I had such a run. Uh, oh. 7605. Oh, man. A hundred and eighty six miles an hour. My car is bad to the bone. Just like Daryl Walter once said, it ran like it doesn't have a restrict plate on there. Indeed, feed and needy. I was coming under fire from McMurray and Wallace. Now I'm putting pressure on Harvick and just following his draft, and I have such a huge run. Green, don't you block. Don't you block. Don't you. Oh, you blocked. Wait, I can. We can come back. No. You know what? You want me to rub you the wrong way, Green? Why don't you get the freak out? Fifty point ninety three. I set my fastest time of the race. That was even faster than my qualifying lab. So far, this long run speed is paying off. I'm side by side with Craven. Too bad I don't see Mark Martin anywhere. I, I want to draft him. Draft with him, but I got to use Craven as a pick to get up to 13th. Yep, I'm pretty indecisive of who I want to pick with. I guess I'm just doing whatever it takes just to get up to the front and stay there. You know what? I'm just going to draft with Bonnie. <gasps> 191 miles an hour. And, of course, the leaders are coming into the pit. Well, back to Harvick. You want to block me, Bush? You want me to put you in a wall? Uh, 50.73. Ha! <laughs> Saw the way I manhandled the car coming off the corner. I didn't even go into the wall. I think Kurt Busch's mind is blown because of that. Now everybody's coming into the pits and I'm gonna lead a lab. Why don't I go through the uh, in-car camera? I'm pretty sure I'm going to lead another lab. Now it's time to come into the pits.
I'm pretty sure that. Uh, I'm gonna go with a four tire stop, and then I'm gonna make a two tire pit stop on my second stop. So. the pack they're way faster than me all right guys I'll get out of the way for you go ahead go ahead go ahead it's too bad I'm just that good and it looks like I'm gonna come out second I'm gonna come out third not too shabby Wow Stewart is in the lead why don't I team up with Jeff Gorn to overtake him? Because he's definitely run away in, in, in the points. <sighs> this is pretty interesting strategy. Fifty twenty eight, not too shabby at all. Now it's a three man horse race between Stuart Gordon and I. Yep. Oh, he and I made contact, but it doesn't matter. I am still in the lead, but Jeff Gorn takes over the lead on the outside. Okay. I don't have to win this race. I can, like, uh, affect... Tony Stewart's chances of winning the championship, but he's pushing me up to the front. Gorn, get in front of me. That way I can draft you. But the rest of the packet, they look like they're catching up to me. Alright, and it's time for pit stops. 
Should I take four tires? Should I take two tires? Well, I had such a great pit stop. I might as well take four while I'm at it. Um. Yeah. All right, no mistakes, guys. You got this. Yeah, I have a perfectly happy pit crew. God, hey! Oh man, a late race mistake. Really? I came in first, and I come out fifth. How pathetic is that? Go ahead and merge, okay. Oops. It, it'll matter. I might, there's a good chance I might struggle in the next race. But I rebound successfully. So basically that uh, pit mistake doesn't matter. And I have a huge run on Gordon. And I'm going to go to the outside and I'm going to... Take over the lead. Huh. I gotta check something real quick. Um, not that. Race strategy. Uh, led two laps, two. There's a good... Um, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna lead the most laps, but I'm gonna rob Stewart from, uh... From winning, but you know what? I'm gonna let Jarrett buy be and make make another friend out there. Have him uh, get five bonus points. Help my four teammate uh, try to catch up to Stewart. So far, I made some friends with big allies. And I'm pretty sure Dale Jarrett's going to be uh, friend number three after this race is all said and done. All right, down to the inside I go, and it looks like I'm going to lead this lab, and the white flag is out one more time around. Stewart's in third. No way. Looks like I'm going to get my fourth win of the season, huh? a better racing car than a qualifying car. It looks like it's going to be another victory. I win at Talladega for the EA Sports 500. Try not to blow the engine, okay. You know what, why don't I do a Polish Victory Lab? Actually, um...
Dang it. Yep. All right, victory. This will definitely improve my finish. Even though I did not qualify better than 15th, but it was a real stepping stone. to improve my average start. I'm pretty sure I won't get paid till I have a bet have a better average finish than 15th. 165,000. Okay, that's not bad. Could have been a little more. Six, nine, six, sixteen. Per race income, two hundred seven. Prestige bonus, I got one k, five k in awards. Anyways, I managed to finish in fifteenth place, which I won the race. Uh, I ranked fifteenth in the points, which is a plus, but. But for the average start, that's something I really need to work on. But it's not going to be an easy challenge. But how am I? But how can I get there? As you can tell, on my chassis, engine, and uh, body, they're being repaired, and my body's being built, which has five races to go. Four races to go for the building to be complete, and five races to go for the chassis to be complete. So, four races to go for the engine balancer to be complete, so that way I'm going to get something more expensive when it comes to research and development. Now, on with the point standings. Tony Stewart is still holding a 237 point lead, so I expect Dale Jr., Jeff Gorn, Mark Martin, and Bible Labani, possibly Dale Jarrett, to uh, finish ahead of him in these next three races. That way we have a great championship battle on our hands. Driver respect. Uh, no enemies so far. Not bad. Made two more allies. That is a big plus. And for the wards, I had, sh I had the fastest car at Talladega. Not too shabby at all. I take it. Well, onwards to the highlights of Kansas, and I guess I should let you know that I'm not going to be recording all the Kansas race, but let's go to the track. Sorry about that. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to sign off here and have show the highlights of the Kansas race next race in the, ne in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Odie's on 101 signing off. Have a great Thursday.